numbers with the same base or base number. We have an example. Example 1. Okay, for example, we have 13 times 12. As you have noticed, we are multiplying two digit numbers with the same base 10 here as you have noticed very very easy to uh, detect as to the base because we have here one and we have also one so it seems our base is uh, uh, one or ten our base is ten we will multiply these two digit numbers with base ten now the first thing to do is to multiply the last digits. The last digits of these uh, numbers, the last digit, digits of our, digit of our multiplicand is 3. The last digit of our multiplier is 2. If we multiply these two, that will give you simply 6. If you want to get, because you have only one digits needed here, because we base it by 10, then the next line here, or the next number here, will complete our answer. And this number is coming from this uh, last digit of our multiplier. And to be added by our multiplicand itself here, this is 13. If you add this, the answer is 15. And that completes our answer. Now, if we are going to write the steps, the steps here is you multiply first the last digits. We have our 3 times 2. That's why we have 6 as our answer. And the next step, and supposed to be the last step, is adding the last digit of this multiplier to the multiplicand itself. So our multiplicand is 13, and if we add our last digit of multiplier 2, it will give you 15. In other words, this will serve as our last digit of our num answer, and this number here, 15, is our uh, number there to complete the answer, 156. Another example, so you can understand that this time, without uh, writing these uh, figures here, we will just do it by our, our own uh, mind, uh, then apply the steps using your mind with the logic of the number for example we have uh, 17 times 15 again take note we have the same base with 10 here so we need one digit here then we have another number here to complete the answer the last digit is coming from our first step is to multiply 7 and 5. Take note, if we multiply 7 times 5, it will give you 35. So put the last digit 5 there and the 3 to be current. There. For the next number here. And as I've said, the next number here can be found by simply adding the last digit of the multiplier by the multiplicand itself. So we have it 5 plus 70. The answer is 22. Plus the carry of 3 will give you 25. 
Therefore, the answer is 255. So in a short way of doing it with the logic of the number and with our technique, then we can do it within one line only. Another example. For example, you have 14 times 19 or 19 times 14. Okay, this time we get fast. A little bit faster without writing go directly to the answer. First thing to do, you get one number here or one digit by multiplying the, the last digits of these uh, two numbers. Multiplying 4 with 9, the answer is 36. And 36, take the last digit 6 with 3 uh, carry. Then, for the last step that we will have, be having here, is to multiply this last digit of our multiplier to this multiplicand directly. When we multiply this, this will give you 36.3, that is 76. Uh, if you multiply 4, oh no, this is not multiplying, this is adding. Okay, if we add this, uh, 19 plus 4 will give you 23. And 23 plus 3 will give you 26. And therefore, the answer is 266. Okay, to make it clear, just multiply this. Last two digits. Then, for the next step, you have to add the last digit here of our multiplier with the multiplicand itself. That's why we have 4 plus 19 will give you 26. Uh, uh, that will give you 23, then plus 3 color is 26, the answer is 266. Those are smaller numbers. What about if we apply a bigger number? This time, we will try a three-digit number. Three-digit numbers such as 112 multiplied by uh, 105. Now this time, be careful because this is a bigger number with three digits. Now again, we can consider this as our supposed to be our base uh, digit here. But take note, if we consider this number and that number to be our last night that our last number of our multiplicand and multiplier as you have noticed there are two digits unlike in the previous example with one digit only that's why we need only one one line here or one digit but in the sense that there are two digits here so we need also two digits it seems our base is already 100. Then we need two digits. Again, we have to do the same thing. Multiply this with that one. And take note, we are having these two digits and the another two digits have to be multiplied. But 0, 5 is 5. And this is 12. When you multiply, that will give you uh, 60. And we need two digits. 60 has two digits. So we will just put 0 and 6 with no carryover. And the last, after multiplying this, we have to add this with that one. Take note, 0, 5 to be added by 112, the multiplicand itself. And the answer is 117. With no carryover, just write 117. And that will serve, you, serve as our answer 11,760. Okay? So let's try one more time. You can consider this as our last uh, example. And I hope you understand how to do it. Now without writing, do it quickly. 
Pilit na yun, sobi yung mind, and logic of the number. But let us, us, let us say 113 times 109. 113 times 109. Again, this is a very big number. And I want you to answer it in one line, quickly. If you multiply this, you consider this as our last number of the multiplier and multiplicand. This will serve as our base. In the sense that there are two numbers here, or two digits, we need two digits for the answer. First thing to do, or the first step, is to multiply 0, 9, or supposed to be 9, multiplied by 13. If you multiply 9 by 13, the answer will give you 117. This is 27, and that is 9 plus 2, 11. So therefore, 117. But we need only two digits here. So 117 has three digits. So I need only the last two digits of 117. I will write the 17 and the 1 to be carried for our next line. As I've said, you have to add this with the whole multiplicand here. So 113 plus 9 will give you 122. 122 plus the current one will give you 123. And therefore, the answer here is 12,317. That will serve as our answer. You do it quickly, less than one minute, use your mind with the logic of the number, and I hope you understand this one. Then I, just, I suggest to have more practice in this topic, practice and practice to become a math master. And that's all for today, and good day.